It all started on a chairlift. We became fast friends. For years, life was just simple. Adventuring, exploring, it all happened with skis on. It was pretty sweet, the mountain life we built for ourselves. We feared nothing but a life unlived. We seized opportunities as they came. And like the winter snowpack, our lives gained depth as time wore on. They became beautiful and perfect and complicated all at once. What's going on right now, Tessa? We're skiing powder as a family. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, Mama's passing ya. Eventually, cracks started to reveal themselves. Relationships frayed, my marriage unraveled. And for Tessa, the phone rang with the very news she had always quietly feared. To be on my own with three kids um, just feels, I don't know, it's a lot. It's a huge adjustment. When there's two parents working together, you both have that opportunity to like say, okay, I'm done. I, I need a break. I'm going to lose it at the kids. I can't do this anymore. I need to kind of tap out and go for a walk or go for a run or go do something for yourself. And parenting on your own. It's not an option to tap out or to say, okay, I'm done. You just have to, like, take a deep breath and dig a little deeper to somewhere you never even knew existed. Mother load is so many things. Dressing your kit, it's getting them out the door, it's packing all the stuff. Not forgetting those little tiny mittens. It's uh, dirty diapers. There's a lot of poo involved in the mother load. It's wondering if you're doing the right thing for them all the time. 
making the right choices, not being late for everything, being late for everything. Skiing. So easy. And it's just being okay with it, just going with it, just strapping it all on your back and putting one foot in front of the other. Take a turn on the snow skate. I can't get this on you. Hold on, we gotta go this way. Got my bribery snacks. Those are good to have. You always think you know what it's gonna be like. You imagine it a certain way, but motherhood is nothing like I expected. It's uh, it's relentless. In good ways and in bad ways. It, it's bringing me so much more happiness than I thought and filling my life so much more than I expected. And it's also pushed me to the edge. You want up? You want to go up now? I'm sad too when the game's over. <laughs> it's okay, bud. Do you want to go play with Rafi and Casper in your monster trucks? Yeah. I feel pulled in a lot of different directions because I have to work full time to, to support us. And I also want to be a mom full time. And I also have this desire to be in the mountains. I grew up in a family where it wasn't always perfect. There were some issues and challenges and ultimately my parents got divorced. And one thing that always brought us together was being in the mountains. And my mom put so much effort into getting us there. She would stay up all night packing. She would load the car. She would plan food for days. She always said that once we got out there, it was just all worth it because that's where she could feel just relaxed and at peace. Oh, I love you, buddy. I feel like I haven't really faced my loss yet or had time to come to terms with my loss yet. One of the hardest things has been to watch my kids struggle. They've dealt with it in really different ways because they're super different kids. Rafi just became very needy and wanted me to hold him more. I couldn't get out of his sight, had to be super close to him all the time. And with Casper, it's been a really different journey. I, he's just been really angry. Anger has kind of been the main outlet. It's been a huge challenge to walk through that with him and encourage him and love him through it. Okay, Casper, let's change our attitude. Stop calling everybody idiots and let's just have fun. Let's teach Mondo how to ski. Are you gonna come with me? When ski season started this year, I got out our bag that we always load up with all of our ski gear. I packed it with all of our stuff, carried it out to the truck, and it felt so heavy. And I thought, holy smokes, am I actually gonna do this? Like, to carry this 60 pound bag every day. My back was sore, my arms were hurting. And as we sort of figure out systems and we adapt to it, my body's gotten stronger. Even though the weight isn't any lighter, the bag isn't any lighter, it all of a sudden makes it feel less hard.
We can't wish for a lighter load, but we can always find peace in the present moment. This life isn't what we expected, but this is where we realize the chance to bear the mother load is a privilege. So whatever it is we're carrying, you'll find us right here.